Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey, thank you so much for stopping by. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing a January haul and low buy update. So if you wanna get into that, no. So if you wanna see all of that, then just keep on watching. Before we get into that though, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. I do a lot of panning content, I do a lot of makeup enthusiast content, more of that coming. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, then just subscribe. All right, you guys, so we're gonna be doing my January haul, low light update, uh, some clarifications and kind of just rules to my low buy. So I guess let's start out with my um, modifications to my rules because I wasn't really clear in the get ready with me where I was talking about my low buy. I was basically just like, I can make 21 purchases in 2021 um, it could be one item, it could be, you know, as many items as I want. Um, so I just wanted to add some clarifications for me into that rule. And um, let's just go into that really quickly. So like I already mentioned in my Get Ready With Me, um, my low buy is 21 purchases in 2021. I do want to add some clarifications. So most of this is going to be things I don't want to buy, and then there's one exception to the 21 purchases. Um, and so let's start with that. My exception to my 21 purchases is any new collections from Davina will not count to my low buy because that's like my brand. <laughs> that's like the one brand that is like I want to, I, I love everything. I would never buy something I don't want from them, but um, I probably want everything that they buy. <laughs> um, the only thing is. If I purchase any um, old products from them, not old, but like older collections, that counts toward my low buy. So if it's a new collection, if she comes out with some more uh, multi-chromes or duo-chromes, those don't count. But for example, I want two more of the sugar drops, that would count to my low buy. When I get into my haul update, I bought some single shadows. Some of those were old, some of them were new, so they count to my low buy. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of my little exception. Um, but let's go into the products that I am not allowing myself to buy. One is lipsticks. The only exception to no lipsticks is if Lisa Eldridge comes out with a new collection and there's um, up to two shades that I want, I'm allowed to purchase those. So I can purchase two, up to two Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. And I allowed myself that because those are my favorite lipstick formula. I love the products. And... Um, I would like to get my collection to a point where I just have a few favorite lipsticks and um, also Lisa Eldridge only launches a few times a year so I'm gonna allow myself up to two. Um, no lip glosses so I don't need any more lip glosses. I have something like a ridiculous number like 15, 16, 17 like I have a lot of lip glosses. A lot of them are minis. I am working on them and I think I will be able to get quite a few out of my collection this year. I just don't need any more right now. Next up is no foundations and no primers unless I dip under five. I probably will get there this year with primers and once I get under five, so four or less, um, I can buy myself a new primer. However, that is probably going to take me throughout most of the year. So um, I don't know if I'll even pick one up this year. Who knows? Um, as for foundations, I have eight right now. I don't know that I'll be able to use four by the end of the year to a point where I can buy myself a new foundation. So it'll probably be a no buy for a foundation for quite a long time. I'm quite good at panning primers. I like using primers. I use multiple primers in a day. So um, towards the end of the year, I'll probably get to the point where I will allow myself to buy a primer. Next up, no more lip oils or <laughs> lip balms. I have a ton. The only exception is if I run out of clear lip balm, I'm allowed to buy a new clear lip balm. So I have one clear lip balm and one clear lip oil. If I get to the point where I'm running out of one of those and I don't have the other, I will allow myself to buy one lip balm or lip oil that is clear. So I will allow myself to buy up to two highlights this year. So I can buy highlights, but there's a limit to the amount I want to let myself bring into my collection. Um, I don't want to buy any bronzers this year. I have a ton. I, I don't need any more, especially because I don't use a lot because I'm so pale. <laughs> I don't need a lot of bronzer. So um, right now, I don't need to buy, bring any more into my collection. So brushes are not going to count to my low buy either. I don't overbuy them. I, I basically what I'm doing is I'm slowly bringing in 
more Sigma brushes and getting rid of the ones that I don't like anymore or are old. I'm basically trying to replace them with like slightly higher quality brushes. And I only buy from Sigma when there's a sale going on. So I'm kind of slowly, you know, bringing in new, <laughs> new brushes and not over purchasing. Um, and then the last thing is uh, a no buy on nail polish. Um, because I have a lot and I don't need that much nail polish. I don't need, I have basically all the colors I can need. So um, no more nail polish. I structured it this way because blush and eyeshadow is what I really enjoy wearing. And um, I don't mind my collection expanding in those categories. So yeah, <laughs> that's just the, that's just the rules I decided for myself. So those are my rule clarifications. I hope that's helpful. Um, just a reminder that this is, Based on my experience and my purposes, everyone's low buy is going to be different. Everyone's scenario is different. Everyone's going on a low buy for a different reason. For me, it's just I want to bring in less items. And so this is what I chose to go with. So with that being said, let's get into the items that I bought in the month of January. I made four purchases, but I only have three. So the first purchase I made was this. This is the e.l.f. Meant to be Quad. I bought this and some brushes. So the brushes didn't count to my low buy, but this quad did. This is the obviously Meant to be Quad. I've used this twice. Um, you can see me wearing this in my uh, Project Pan update and my Pan Those Shadows update. Um, I also film film this video while wearing this but I decided to refilm it so here we are <laughs> um this quad is kind of a regret I kind of regret using one of my 21 purchases on it um I would feel less regret if I like oh just added it onto an Ulta order with some other makeup but because this was one singular like point to my low buy I do kind of regret this especially because I know I don't love elf sh elf's eyeshadow formula this is okay the this mint shade is very very light and I'm very pale so um this is not gonna work on a lot of skin tones because it barely works for me when I put in the deepening shade it it kind of blends the lighter shade away the first time I used this deeper shade it was extremely patchy the second time I did it wasn't too bad the shimmers are really stiff um, really hard pressed so I would prefer them to be a little more creamier um, but they are workable um, but anyway this is okay I think I, I'm glad to have it in the sense that when I do have that itch to wear mint eyeshadow I have this and I can make it work this is definitely a bit of like a one trick two trick pony basically put that in as a transition use that as a deepener and then one of these two shimmers um but yeah, I did buy this and I don't recommend it, but I bought it. <laughs> the second purchase I made in the month of January is the Kaleidos in Angelica Nikist. What is it called? Club Nebula palette. I am really excited to get my hands on it. I plan on doing like a first impressions and maybe a three looks one palette. Um, that landed in the states because uh, Kaleido ships out of China. It did land in the states the other day. I'm just kind of waiting for a tracking update aside from that. It's in Chicago. It's getting close to me so I'm really excited to get that palette, try Kaleidos for the first time. I love the color story and I'm just really excited to get my hands on it. So um, more information when I do get that palette but yeah. Third purchase of January. I made an order to Davina. I have a shadow in here that's not Davina. Let me take that out real quick. So I made a small order to Davina. They released these two new Aurora Flare collection. So these are the two new multi-chromes that Davina released. If I had just bought these, it would not count to my low buy, but I did buy some other stuff, so it does count. Um, so we have Phenomenon and Hemisphere, I believe. I just looked at this too. Yes, Hemisphere. And then I bought four of the Galaxy Dust shades that I was missing. So we have Cygnus, Magellanic, uh, Starfire, and what is this? Messier. It looks completely, it looks purple from this angle, but it's like green in the camera. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I bought these as well as I bought the Sandbar Bronzer. So, um... <laughs> I bought this before I clarified my rules. 
Um, I'm really excited. I've tried this once and I like it a lot so far. It's a very light bronzer. I bought this on Amy Loves Makeup's recommendation and it's a really, really nice bronzer and almost can use it as like a blushy bronzer. It's really nice so far. So I did buy these. Um, I actually had a Usually you can use a 20% off Davina or code on Davina items. Uh, for a limited time, they were offering the coupon codes to apply to the Aurora Flare collection. I don't know if they still are, but I actually happened to get, I had added the bronzer to my cart while I was logged into my account before the collection went live. And I actually got a cart bail email, um, which gave me a unique 25% off code to me. So I was able to use that on this collection, which was exciting. <laughs> um, so all that's left on my wish list from Davina. I do want some mattes and also some sugar drops. I don't know when I'm going to buy those. Um, but if I do buy those, they will come to my low buy numbers. But any new releases, I know she's coming out with another uh, shade in the moonlit or in the moonlit formula. So I'm excited for <laughs> Davina's releases this year. And finally, we have my last purchase of January, which is from Glam Vice. So these are um, water activated liners. I've been having a lot of fun with these so far. I'm not wearing it today, but I have been wearing them. Um, so it, they had a buy two, get one free sale on their um, retro liners as well as their brushes. So basically I got a brush and one of the liners free or however you want to look at it they were all the same price so i bought five liners in shades that like i do a lot of these color looks um so first off we have the shade hairspray this is a matte kind of light to medium blue we have disco fever which is just a black i have not tried this one yet but um it could become a staple who knows then we have Platforms, which is a satin purple, which I didn't realize this was a satin, but that's my fault for not reading the product description. It did look matte in the splashes. Um, I haven't tried this as a full liner yet, so we'll see how that goes. And then we got Lemon Lush, which is a yellow. I'm so excited to put that on my eye. And we got the shade Fringes, which is kind of a medium green shade. I've already used this one and it's beautiful. And then for the brush, I went with the, which one is this? The GV10. So it's just kind of a thin brush. I didn't do the thinnest, but I didn't do the thickest. I wasn't sure which one to use. I haven't used this yet. I did use a e.l.f. one that I have that worked pretty well. So um, yeah, that was my fourth and final purchase for January. So then I just wanted to go into some new releases that have tempted me, things that are on my wish list and radar. So let's get into that part. So as for things that have tempted me, one is the Glossy Balms from the Rare Beauty launch. Those look really nice, but per my low buy rules, I cannot buy those right now. If I get to a point where I use up a lot of uh, colorful lip balms and lip oils, then I can let myself buy those. Um, the Nomad palette, the Fire and Ice palette, I was really intrigued by it, but I didn't like the pop of red and I get the concept it's fire and ice or ice and fire, whichever way it is. Um, I just can't, I don't like the mix of cool and warm tones. Like I like it to be cool tones or warm tones. Like I don't like the mix of both. So that was a pass for me in the end, but it looked very beautiful. Um, one thing I was tempted by that I will probably try <laughs> once my low buy rules allow it and I'm making a purchase from this brand is the lip bar. They came out with, um, some tinted balms, a lip serum, which is basically like an oil, and um, a lip scrub. I'm really interested in the lip serum. So when my low buy rules allow it, I think I'm gonna buy it. Um, yeah. And then like a lot of people, I was really tempted by the Auric Luminizer. I didn't buy it because it's just not something I need right now. I have an item kind of like that that I'm currently panning. So maybe when I finish that, um, also, I wanted to see like a non-influencer reviews or non-PR reviews of the product before I bought something so expensive. Not that they were lying, just I wanted, I want to be able to see what people think 
who are on the PR list and who aren't on the PR list. So that and then um, things I'm looking forward to that haven't been fully revealed. The Cleona Cosmetics collab. They're doing a collab for the first time, I believe, with an influencer. Um, I'm really intrigued to see what that color story looks like. I love the stained glass formula and I am really excited to see what it looks like. I'm not going to say I'm going to buy it for sure or not, but I'm interested to say the least. Also interested in the Sydney Grace and uh, Temptalia collaboration. I think I will probably buy at least one palette. <laughs> and then two, something that's supposed to come out this month in February is the Menagerie Flight Club palette. Usually for Menagerie, whatever the art on the outside of the palette looks like is what the color story looks like. And it's like purpley, plummy with a little bit of green. So I probably will buy it because I'm looking for more purple mattes and Menagerie tends to do mostly matte palettes. So... I'm probably gonna buy it this month. Some other things that are on my radar are I would love to try Dandelions Co. Um, because I want to bring in some unique mats to my collection and they have a lot of unique mats. I'm probably not gonna buy their new release, but maybe in the future I will finally try Dandelions. Um, I was considering making a Lethal Cosmetics purchase because they have a lot of purple mats, but I kind of put that on pause because when you add international shipping, it's it makes it a lot. <laughs> and because Menagerie is coming out with what I think is going to be a purpley, mostly matte palette, um, I'm kind of intrigued to see what that looks like first. Lethal is just, uh, it would be like $78 to ship a 12 pan palette to me. And um, I don't know that I want to pay that. <laughs> um, and then finally, I am really tempted by some of the new Finally, I'm really tempted by some of the uh, European indie brands that are getting hyped up lately. One of these may be something I already bought in February, and those would be Burnovich and Glam Shop. They look beautiful, and I look forward to trying them one day. <laughs> and with that all being said, that is everything that I bought in the month of January. My low buy rule clarifications, things I've been tempted by, what I bought all of that. Let me know how you like this update. Let me know how you're doing if you're on a low buy. I would love to know. I'm feeling okay right now. I'm a little bit like, oh, I've already bought so much in the beginning of the year, but I am I'm feeling good. I'm feeling okay. I am doing this because I want to stop my impulsive spending. I am a very, I'm very much an emotional shopper good or bad so if I something good happens I'm like oh I want to buy something to celebrate if I'm feeling sad I want to buy something to make me feel better so that's something I know I need to work on and I think I've been doing pretty okay despite already buying four buying four things in January and one thing in in February but I think a, everything I bought wasn't an impulse purchase um aside from maybe the the elf meant to be this might have been an impulse purchase, but the Kaleidos, I had a few days to think about it. Davina is, it's, I guess you could say that's impulsive, but I'm really happy with the order and I love the new shades that she released. So I've been thinking about, I wanted to get the Galaxy Dust shades at Black Friday, but with all the things that happened with the website on her, on Black Friday, I, I didn't go and add them to cart. And then the, um, the multi-chromes, I, I love those shades. I can't wait to wear them. And then the Glam Vice, I probably had them in my cart for like a week <laughs> before I bought them. I've been watching a lot of G Giovanna uh, Ferry, I think is how you say her name. Um, and that definitely inspired this purchase. So I'm going to stop blabbering because it's been a little bit of time. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Scooter, say bye.